Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your general love reading for mid-February 2022. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aquarius. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. You can, however, check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, let's see, Aquarius, what is going on with you for the second half of February 2022? Okay. So for the main situation, we have the star crossed by strength. Okay, so Aquarius and Leo already showing up in your reading. And we also have the sun as the potential outcome here. Let me just say that right off the bat, which is um, beautiful, a beautiful energy, but it's also um, another card representing Leo energy. So some of you might be dealing with Leo, um, Aquarius. It could be that you have one of these signs strongly in your chart. Um, but of course you could be dealing with any sign, okay? These are just the ones that are standing out the most, also Aries. Okay, so yeah, star crossed by strength. There's a big, big wish here. Wow, a big, big wish, but it's um, the challenge is actually having the strength to go after that wish, something that you or they really, really want. Um, for you, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Um, I don't know exactly what is going on here um, between you and this other person, but I feel like you're moving gradually. You're, it's like you're trusting something. You're trusting um, the path. Not necessarily this connection, although it could be, but there's something here that you're trusting. And I feel like it's more related to you being able to overcome whatever challenges you're facing at the moment especially concerning your emotions. Um, because I do see that there are emotions here with this page of cups for this person and possibly you might even um, wish that, be wishing that you could express these emotions more. Um, for some of you, maybe you already are expressing these emotions. Either way, it's like you're trusting that you can overcome whatever it is that you're being faced with right now. For them, we have the Fool, the King of Cups and the Three of Swords. Um, okay, it feels like this person is taking some kind of a risk, taking some kind of a leap of faith. Um, there's a lot of feelings here, and it does feel like they're moving in that direction of, of love, basically, which... But there's also pain. There's a lot of pain at the same time. So we're going to clarify and see why. We do have the sun for the potential outcome, though, so that is... Um, success, basically. Success, happiness, all of that. Could even be children for some of you. Let's see. So let's clarify the star with strength. Justice, the Page of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Wow, okay. Big decision here, big decision um, or major, major truth. Um, whatever it is that this wish is, um, it's, it's like, it's based in truth. It's based in true alignment. There's a huge decision here that somebody is really struggling with. But it does feel like they're, they're doing it. It does feel like they're making that decision. At least taking the first steps. Uh, like I said, strength seems to be the obstacle, and I feel like that's why the steps are small. But they are there, and even if those steps are just um, communicating something, and not so much action-oriented, but there's definitely, definitely some steps that are being taken here. All right, let's see that Knight of Pentacles for your energy. 
the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so it feels like the challenge that's being thrown at you or that you're having to face right now um, is concerning love. It is concerning this connection that, you know, you felt like this is your, your true love, basically. Your happiness, your fulfillment. And even though there's a huge difficulty associated with that, it's like you're still trusting that you can overcome this or that maybe you will be able to find this, whether it be with this person or just in general. It's like, um, it feels like you're releasing the burden of holding on to a, you know, um, happily ever after love story. And you're just trusting instead. Let's see the King of Wands. The Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're trusting that not only can you overcome this, but that, you know, you will have love. You will have love. Um, again, it's not clear as to whether you're, in what way you're, you're um, trusting this or feeling like you can overcome this, like if it has to do with this person, right? Just trusting that, you know what? It can't be any other way. Like this person is definitely, you know, um, this is the person I'm going to be with. Or if you're just feeling like, you know, I will have this regardless. And if you're not feeling that, I feel like then this is the message for you. Um, to know that, yeah, you know, you can have this. You can have true, genuine, pure love. It's like, with that Knight of Cups, it's like it's there. It's like it's coming. Or you're heading towards it. And you can overcome whatever it is that you need to overcome in order to move in that direction. All right, let's see the Page of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. A lot of cups. And the Two of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of nostalgia. I do feel like, you know, there is something that you would want to say to somebody here. Um, do keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Um, there is something here that you would want to say on an emotional level to someone else. There's a lot of um, nostalgia and a, a, for a person that you're feeling a very deep connection to, but it's like you're holding back. Um, Almost like feeling like, you know what, like there's nothing else that you can do anymore. Um, and just trusting. It's like you're feeling like no matter what you, no matter what you say or no matter what you do, it, at this point, it feels a little pointless and you just have to trust and move in, in a particular direction. And I feel like that's what, that's what you're doing. Let's see for them. See the fold. The two of wands, the queen of swords, and the moon. It's that way. Okay. This person is taking some kind of a leap here. They're moving, they're moving in a particular direction, but they don't really know where they're going. It's interesting because it's like there's this clarity behind it. There's this determinism behind it. Like, you know, this is what I'm doing. But at the same time, they're also afraid of it. But I feel like they're still doing it anyway. It's like taking a risk regardless of the fear. Hmm. There is hesitancy. They're hesitantly moving forward, but still having that determinism to do it even if they're hesitant. Let's see the King of Cups. 
Five of Swords, Page of Cups, and I know, I'm getting more clarifiers for them because that's just what I'm feeling guided to. Um, the Page of Wands. Okay, so two pages. You had the Page of Cups as well. Um, It's like this person is really having to, I'm seeing it as a sacrifice almost. Really standing up for their own self, knowing that they're going to lose something else. And that could be why there's this hesitancy or why there's this fear. Um, but it's like they're trusting their, their emotions here. And it feels like they're cutting something out. And it doesn't have to necessarily be another situation. It could even be um, something in their own minds, right? Like a fear or a, a belief. It could be anything. There is a, there's definitely a lot of determinism here and a lot of putting themselves first. Putting, the, putting their hearts first, basically. Putting their hearts first on top of anything else, no matter how scary it is, and moving in a way where it, it's like very new. It's very new for them. Um, wow. And they're doing this with, with eagerness as well. Um, let's see, because we have this Three of Swords though. Strength, that's Leo energy. We also have Pisces showing up here. Um, the King of Swords and the Tower. Okay, so whatever, whatever this move is that they're making, whatever this risk is, whatever this leap of faith is here, like I said, they're putting themselves first, but it's it's not coming without a loss. There's still a loss here, right? That's why we have the Five of Swords. Um, it could be that they are betraying a part of themselves or betraying some other kind of a situation in the process in order to put themselves first. Whatever it is, that that is creating the pain. It's creating this tower. Something is being destroyed, basically. They're needing, they're, they're needing to really... Um, destroy something else in order to move in the direction of love. But they have, again, I mean, King of Swords now, like I said, there's that determinism, there's that strength, that even though it hurts, even though it's painful, even though it's scary, even though it's an unknown, still moving in that direction, still doing it anyway. But it's not, it's, it's not easy. It's definitely not going to be easy. Um, so I don't know how long this might take to actually, like, manifest. I do see it as being the, the movement being in the direction of you, right? Because um, they're moving towards towards love, and I'm seeing that this is how this person is feeling about you. But because there's so much pain and there's so much destruction that also is taking place here, um, that's that could take a little bit of time for it all to play out before we get to the sun. So let's see, let's see the sun, the fool. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That that leap of faith that they're making here, it could be again, it's like a major decision, as we saw here in the main situation, towards a wish. That's leading to the sun ultimately. Again, roles can be reversed, so just take it as it makes sense for you. But yeah, things seem to be moving in a direction where it's everything is just gonna get a lot a lot brighter. Again, I, I do feel like for some of you, obviously not all of you, but for some of you, this could even be um, in terms of a pregnancy. All right, Aquarius, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have miracles, expect the wondrous to emerge does feel that way in this reading. 
It almost felt like, you know, too, <laughs> too good to be true here. But, um, you know, if this is a person that you would um, want to make a decision and take a leap of faith to move in, the, in your direction and then have this happily ever after with the sun. Um, but yeah, expect the wonders to emerge. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.